Yo. Wait, that will be the thumbnail. That face right there, that will be the thumbnail. Just you wait and see for this live stream. Firstly, I feel I need to explain this before I go into my very meaningful uh, live stream. It's gonna be quite short. <laughs> Famous live, why do I always say that? It's never short. Why do I even bother prefacing a live stream with? Just a quick one, because we both know, we all know, I'm gonna be here for about three hours and the message will come out when it comes out. And check this bad boy out, how cute is that? The first thing I feel I need to draw your attention to is the fact that I look like I'm wearing a wig. And this is because, my friends, I had my hair dyed a couple of days ago and in true curly girl style, I have not yet washed it because I wash it like once a week because, you know, curly girl life. So I have this amazing like stained head and it's making me look like a just for men advert. <laughs> And I can't actually look at myself in the mirror right now and take myself seriously. So this is going to be an interesting live stream. Do you remember Just For Men? Is that a thing still? Like the hair dye that was specifically for men? Because apparently men's hair is different from women's hair. Marketing. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so. Yes, I look like... It's, it might be a bit distracting for all of us, the fact that I look like I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing a toupee. I might actually have to wash my hair today because this is going to distract me and I'm not going to be able to take myself seriously. Anyway, right, serious things. <clears throat> so, good morning. I can feel myself wanting to say it again. A real quickie, three hours later, she's still talking. Get to the point, Georgina. Um, there you go, Heather. Is that helping? <laughs> if I just do the live stream like this, would that be better? Shall I put a hat on? I put my hood on. That's going to be the thumbnail now, isn't it? Fucking Facebook. It's going to be like, it's going to, it's going to put this as the thumbnail for this live stream. Just you wait. Just you wait. Anyway, let's get on. At the beginning of the week, I went and had um, a craniosacral session with a beautiful friend of mine. And... She does the check-in at the beginning, you know, drops me into my body and then asks me, <clears throat> you know, how am I feeling energetically, physically, etc. And so I started to just tell her, you know, oh, I've been doing this process and that and I'm feeling this and energetically I've been blah, 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 and I've been meditating on this and yada, 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 like typical Noli shizzle. And I was telling her about some of the awarenesses I'd had and like how I, what I was what my intentions were for going into the session and how I was looking to like integrate fully the shifts I'd had into my physical body and create more of a connection so that I could be more embodied in the work and the, the changes that I've experienced. You know, therefore enhancing my frequency in the world, the impact I can have just by existing, etc., etc. Yeah, casual. Uh, I think most people probably go to her and go, I've got knee pain and I'm like, I want to change the world. Now, can you help me? Um, and she just sat there and very calmly said, and I can't remember her exact words, but she said something along the lines of, thank you so much for doing that work and for doing the work for all of us. Um, something like doing the work on you for all of us or, you know, so we all benefit or something along those lines. But basically the core of the message was that she understood that the work that I do on myself has an impact, has a ripple effect. <sighs> and that was just the most beautiful compliment I could possibly have received because it's very easy for the level of self-work that I do to, I think, per my perception is that other people may perceive it as being very self-indulgent. I don't really care if they think that because I know the truth, but I still kind of hold this idea that maybe other people might think like, she just literally spends all that time like meditating, journaling, doing cleary work, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting that someone else's perception, someone who I'm very aligned with on a, like a real spiritual level to the point where 
there are times when she's doing energy work on me and it feels like I'm doing it on myself. Like it feels like I'm standing at my head with my hands on my own body. It's very bizarre. We look quite similar. If you saw us together, you would think we're related. We both have like mad curly hair, like big eyes, cheekbones, really big smiles. Energetically, we're very similar. I've had people like, I've walked into a room before and some say, oh my God, I thought you were Joe. And I'm like, oh yeah, well we are friends, you know? But yeah, it's interesting how we have such a similar frequency, which is great because I think she's fucking badass. So I'm like, I'm happy if people are going to mistake me for Joe. I'm fine with that. Um, but it's so beautiful that she reflected that back to me, that the work that I do and that she could see the work that I do on myself is, yes, primarily for me, because obviously I'm the one who has the instant benefit. But I'm realizing more and more, and even in the last week, I have really felt this massive mm, like deepening and dropping into the unique power that comes from me just being me. And the same is true for you. So in order for me to truly model what I teach, which is be you, be more you, be as you as you can possibly be, and then be even more you, more you than you thought you could imagine you could ever be. Because you are unique and your frequency on this planet is, it's required. You would not be on the planet at this time if you being you was wrong. It is impossible. The universe doesn't make mistakes. You are here being you in this now moment as you in the skin suit that you are currently wearing with, and this may be triggering for some of you, but it's coming through, with the trauma you have experienced and with the wounding that you have had to go through. And trust me, we've all been through a fair share of shit in our lives. And we have all been through it so that we could come out and be the people we are now and the people that we will continue to evolve into. And when you realize that, and when you allow yourself to fully understand that, there is so much freedom and there is so much peace because then we stop creating more fucking tests for ourselves. We don't need to be tested anymore. <laughs> we kind of, you know, like, yeah, there, there will still be things that, you know, still be things that we are learning about ourselves, so particularly when we're like inspired and wanting to grow so of course there will always be things that we get to heal and move through and the universe will always give us exactly what we need in order to see the parts of ourselves that we need to connect with reconnect with understand heal forgive love more deeply so that we can integrate another layer of ourselves and feel even more bold in our self-expression and the way that we show up in the world in order to heal the fucking collective so It is no mistake that you are here on this planet at this time playing the role you are playing. And you get to choose in every single fucking moment what that role looks like. And I get very excitable and very emotional and passionate about this stuff because this is part of what I'm here for, is to remind you of that and to remind myself of that and to continue to be the embodiment of what I believe in the world without trying to go into like over explaining the why. When I start to explain why I am the way I am, why I do what I do, I drop out of the frequency that most serves me, you and the whole collective of the planet. And the same is true for you. When you speak from the truth that lives at the core of you, and understand that that truth may always be ever evolving and changing and growing. And sometimes you might have a 180 on something that you used to so avidly believe in. But if you can't give yourself permission to have an about turn on how you view something and how you understand the truth of a situation or of something or someone, it will be very difficult for you to ever forgive anybody else when they change their mind, when they have an about term, when they suddenly awaken and go, oh my God, everything I thought about, everything I thought I need to be true on this fucking planet, it's like breaking out of the matrix, right? Like, oh fuck, like I've been unplugged from the matrix and I'm starting to see everything a completely different way. And because of that, 
you know, are you able to deepen in your acceptance of that person because you've accepted that part of yourself? Or are you still clinging on to an old paradigm because that's what you've lived in for, you know, X amount of decades and therefore you feel like somehow you owe that <laughs> that matrix something, you owe that paradigm something, you owe the version of you that was living in that paradigm stuck and trapped and struggling and scared and you know, do you feel like you still owe that version of yourself something because you don't? If you owe her or him or them anything, it is to continue to evolve. That's really all we ever owe ourselves or the planet is to continue to evolve. So that went somewhere I wasn't expecting, but there you go. That's what happens when we open our mouths and allow source to channel through our face. Um, so, oh, hey, Hafida, nice to have you on. Hello. Um, so that's pretty much the rant that I didn't know that needed to come through me, but there you go. The initial message was the most beautiful compliment I received was this week and it was someone thanking me for the work that I do for the collective through my own personal development work. And I felt so seen <laughs> and I felt so understood and loved in that moment because it is easy to forget sometimes when we do this continual self-development work, whether it's reading a self-development book, whether it's going through various spiritual um, elevation processes, um, meditation, whether it's just simply choosing a better feeling thought when we are in the pits of our own self-despair, whether it's choosing to forgive someone who betrayed us, hurt us, taught us a lesson about ourselves and about who we are and what, need, what we need to heal next. When we are able to be in a place of forgiveness and compassion, that is healing for the planet. That's healing for everyone in our lives, including us. So it's okay to put your healing first. It's okay to put your mental health and your emotional well-being first. It's required, it's necessary, it is what is required for us to elevate the frequency of the planet into its next phase of healing. Because it's having a healing crisis right now, you know? I don't like the phrase healing crisis, I tend to say it's the breakdown before the breakthrough. I feel like the whole planet is currently having the breakdown before the breakthrough. And we can either, some of us are here to be in the trenches. Some of us are here to uh, create new systems and structures. Some of us are here to hold the vision of the new. Every single one of us has a part to play. And in my personal experience of, of what I feel my current part is, the self-healing work is so important because we all benefit from more emotional resilience, more energetic resilience, and an ability to have more compassion for ourselves and for others. That is my message to you. If this message speaks to you and you're feeling the vibration of this message, I do, and, and, and you, if you want more, I urge you to join us in the new paradigm of power. I've delivered two pieces of content already and there's more to come. So as usual, <laughs> Little Miss over deliver. There's pre-work in there. There is two live modules already where, where there's a transmission and some clearing in each of them. If this is speaking to you on a deep level, if it's awakening something or tingling something in your spidey senses and at the base of the beautiful soul that inhabits your skin suit, then <laughs> come and join us because this work is, is bigger than all of us. And the more of us that are in that container, the more of that frequency we're building. And the women in there already, they're beautiful. <laughs> We're having the best time. Um, so come and join us if you feel it. If you don't, that's totally fine. You know, it's not like everyone needs to be in there. It's just if you feel it, if you feel called, if you feel like it's going to help you feel more seen, heard, understood, accepted, loved, if it's going to, if it feels like it's going to help you um, elevate your ability to have compassion and a sense of forgiveness for yourself and for others and to become more empowered in the fact that you are a sensitive soul, 
You are here to feel the world deeply. You're not here to numb the fuck out. You're not here to make other people feel comfortable. You're here to heal yourself, to become more of who you're meant to be on this planet. That's what you're here for. So if that feels like something that you want to get some juice around, then just go ahead and click the link in the comments below. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below this. Make sure you tag me though, because I don't always see things because I have a lot of notifications. So I prioritize the ones in my paid programs, obviously, for obvious reasons, because um, uh, those people have invested and therefore I'm like, right, I'm in, let's go. Excuse me, energy moving. So if you do want to be part of that, click the link. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Again, do tag me, otherwise I might not see it and I don't want you to feel like I've neglected you because I have a big heart and I care. <laughs> so tag me in the comments if you have anything that you feel you'd like to ask me about this particular topic. And yeah, that's it, that's me. Love you, bye.